Hello everyone and welcome to our next video on Simple AI with Python and Coop. Today's topic is Jigsaw Puzzle Geometrical Fit. We will learn how to make tabs and blanks interlock using geometrical form matching. We will look at simplified case. We have four pictures. One is a puzzle itself with a missing tile and we have to find a correct match out of three tiles. This one, number three, is correct if rotated counterclockwise. So let's start. We will import some libraries. We shall use OpenCV, Image and Pipelot to work with images and FastDTW to compare lines and Globe to access this files panel. Let's load our pictures, all four. We will turn them into unsigned 8-bit images and a single channeled grayscale because we need binary images, which means it is either foreground or background, no colors. And we will do the some little shifts of black color because further we will need to be able to distinguish between background and image when we rotate. Let's plot pictures. There is a puzzle, there is a correct match and all the other tiles. So I want to attract your attention that these tiles, the picture sizes are arbitrary. So this one is over 600 pixels, 500 pixels or whatever. This doesn't matter. The tile itself, the shape, is a correct match for this one. It's 350 pixels, something like that, but it looks smaller because of a different size of the picture, but still it won't matter. So the idea of matching is to derive a contour and compare contours of the shapes. But how do we compare two contours? So these two are similar, if rotated counterclockwise but the contour has no ending and beginning, so we have to have some uniform scale how to compare. And the idea is that we looked at each contour from four sides. So from left, right, bottom and up. For instance, green eye will see this line. It doesn't see this part, which can be seen by yellow eye, but yellow eye, it doesn't see this but which can be seen by pink eye. So all four, they see a picture in general. They see the contour as a total. Of course, uh, neither of their eyes can see this red color part, but it is hardly expectable in a real world puzzle, in a real tile that there is a inward looking narrow sprout. So mainly in 99% cases this will be enough. But the benefit of this approach is that it is easy to compare two lines with a mean squared error or mean absolute error or any other measures. We will have four lines and line to line comparison is easy with math operations. So how do we get borders? We have defined a function. We use Kenny, OpenCV Kenny to extract contour and then we rotate picture to look at it from four sides and each time we take the very first appearance of white color so we have to use np wear and then we normalize so that each border starts from zero this is to avoid influence of picture size. So no matter what is the real picture size, we will always have a border starting from zero. Another one is rotate. We use image rotate method to rotate picture by a certain number of degrees. And finally, let's find a match, which is we get border of picture number zero, this one, which is a puzzle itself. And then we look through all the other pictures, we rotate them 
360 degrees and each time we calculate the comparison matrix which is DTW, dynamic time warping, for each of the four sides. We sum them up all together to get a single matrix. We put it into a matrix list and finally we sort it ascending order sorted by DTW so that low values come first which is best matches and the uh, zero index is a correct match you see that number three rotated 70 degrees counterclockwise yeah this is our number three this is correct answer okay so this is a pretty simplified case but it demonstrates a general idea so for any ar for arbitrary geometrical 2d forms you can use this for comparison okay so thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and subscribe to www.simpleai.net see you bye